Alright, alright. I get it. It's Trunks. He's a Super Saiyan, and he's about to be an LR. Not only an LR, but a free-to-play LR. I'm sure the first warden is jerking off to that. Now, are you first warden? Well, me, I'm not into the jerk-off party of future Trunks. Although he's a great character, although I love the character, I have a big, big, big problem with what's about to happen here now. A lot of people might not agree with me, and I don't really care, but let's just take a step back and break down the LRs in Dragon Ball Z Doku Battle. Now, shall we? So, comparing all the LRs we have, Super LRs, we have 15. We have 15 Super LRs. 15 compared to 8 villains. So, we have 8 villain LRs, including Summonable and Free to Play, compared to 15 Super LRs, both Summonable and Free to Play. In terms of summonable LRs, we have 8 who are super and 4 who are extreme. Like, my issue with them releasing Super Saiyan LR Trunks, my issue with them releasing Bardock, who they just dropped by though, my issue with Beerus is that they are not focusing on balance. Shouldn't we have a good ratio of villain LRs compared to heroes? Why is there such a big saturated market of super LRs? But it doesn't seem to be the case for the villains. Now, we all know why the the heroes sell, you know, Super Saiyans and Vegitos and oh my god, Kamehameha and people want super characters. Like, the super characters in Dragon Ball Z are the most popular characters in the entire series. You know, you might have some very cool villains. Once you get Freeze, are very popular. Um, of course, Cell. But, you know, the Super Saiyans, you know, they are the characters really sell. So, if they drop, let's say, LR Cell, which they should... I mean, this is a future theme here with future Gohan. Perfect opportunity to give us a future LR Cell. Like, why not? Future LR Cell, you know, he could transform into Perfect Cell. Bruh, but they didn't do that. You know, Super Saiyan LR Trunks. Perfect Cell would not sell compared to a Super Saiyan character LR. And, you know, obviously, LR Trunks is dropping. Although he's free to play, they're probably going to market that and, you know, probably get more people to download the game, play the game, and that's better for them. They can't market the game and have it downloads if it was an LR cell. So, I understand is marketing, they want to capture the audience and Super Saiyans will do that. But I want balance, bro. Like, why do we have 8? Eight? 8 villain LRs compared to 15 Super LRs, you know? Uh, we have 2 LRs where we can obtain from the uh, World Tournament. And they're both Super characters, LR Piccolo and also LR TN. Most of the free-to-play LRs in the game are super characters and most of the Sunnable LRs are characters. Like the last villain LR we've got it was Bojack. Wasn't that October? The end of October, beginning beginning of November. So it's over half a year since we've gotten a villain LR. Not even yeah, Sunnable LR. I mean, I guess you know, yeah, we got LR Ginyu, um, LR Goku Ginyu. That is. So I guess he is the most recent villain LR. But in terms of summonable, it's been Bojack. Like over half a year. We haven't gotten a summonable villain LR. And yeah, you know, we have LR Ginyu, but since LR Ginyu has dropped, how many super LRs have we gotten in that time period? Oh, LR Beerus. Oh, LR um, Vegito. LR Gogeta. You know, LR Bardock. Like, bruh. So that's like four or five LRs in a time frame of one LR being Goku Ginyu. What's, what's going on here? Like, am I the only one that cares? Now, obviously, I'm a Super Saiyan fan. I love Saiyans. I love hero characters. But I also like balance. Like, it's, it's like being in a relationship, right? It's like you're in a relationship with a girl. And you give, what, 80%? But she gives 20 That, that can't work. That can't work. Like, right now, in Doka, it's like 80% of the LR. Well, not 80%, but like a high percentage of the LR. Like, 70% are heroes. And the rest are what? Villains? No balance. It can't work. It, it doesn't. It, there's no cohesiveness, my boy. There's no synergy, my man's. And I like synergy. I like cohesiveness. I like. I like even numbers. And this shit is odd to me. So, you know, Super Saiyan LR Trunks free to play. Sure, it's cool. Uh, we already have a LR Future Trunks, by the way. Who's Super Saiyan Four? By the way, so <laughs> we have two LR Trunks from the future. Like, what? Why? Why? What? <laughs> Like, technically, we have three because we have LR Trunks and Goten, so technically, there's three LR Trunks. You, know, you want to be kind of technical about it. Or, you know, just say two and a half, but it's like, I just want balance, my boy. Like, I like LRs, and I'm all for them dropping in the game. I'm a fan, but, like, 
come on, man. Like, this is the perfect, and I mean absolute perfect opportunity to drop LR Perfect Cell. Although Future Gohan didn't ever encounter Cell, he's from the future timeline. Gohan's from the future. So it makes sense. It mesh. It can work. You know, you know, it's a future future theme, you know, future Gohan. Probably gonna have an SR future Gohan, and then you can you could have probably had LR cell mixing all this. It would have been perfect, but no. Fucking future LR trunks. Like, I'm not a fan. If you are, whatever. That's my rant. Uh, if you don't agree, then I guess fuck your opinion, guys. It just I, I like balance and don't even at me, guys. So peace. I will not let you destroy my